Well, Halloween is just a couple of days away, and while New England is known for its Halloween celebrations here in the U.S., the holiday itself has very different origins. In fact, did you know that it dates back more than 2,000 years to Ireland? I didn't know that. That is my nugget of the day. I didn't yes. know that either. So here to tell us more is senior editor of vacation website Travel Zoo, Gabe Sagley, who joins us now live from Derry, Northern Ireland. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning, Gabe. Katie and Jeff, I'm going to say happy Halloween to you now because it's already started here. Uh, and it's a pleasure to join you from beautiful Derry in Northern Ireland. It looks beautiful. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining us live. Hey, I, now, we understand the city is considered Europe's biggest Halloween festival. What makes it the biggest Halloween festival? So, great question. If you believe USA Today, then this is the biggest and best Halloween festival in all of Europe. It started in 1986, and it's grown over the years to really become quite the spectacle and almost like a pilgrimage for folks who love Halloween, and they will travel to Derry here in Northern Ireland to take advantage of what is a spectacle that lasts multiple days. Uh, the band's already playing. There's music all day long, as you can probably hear. And it all started last night. Uh, the event is called Awakening of the Walls. And um, we were out there last night as the crowds got thicker and thicker, amazing illuminations and activations against these the facades of these very historic buildings out there uh, in the city of Derry. Uh, there are parades. Uh, there are... Uh, uh, spectacular fireworks. Uh, but don't take my word for it, guys. Someone who's been celebrating Halloween here for hundreds of years is Winifred the Witch. I call her my favorite dairy girl. But she's back to celebrate uh, uh, Halloween yet again here in 2024. Hundreds of years in. It, it, does it get better, better and better century after century? Absolutely. Every time I come back to dairy Halloween, I'm stunned. There's lots of wickedly wonderful goings on. <laughs> As you can imagine, of course, Winifred blends right in, but you see this thousands of people, amazing costumes out there. Uh, what's wh Why does it become such an epicenter for Halloween celebration, would you say? I think it's because everybody gets into the spirit of it. They all get dressed up and they yeah. all come out and they help to awaken the spirits that live within these ancient walls. It's like a reunion. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Winifred the Witch, everybody, she's going to go continue to haunt the streets of Derry. I'm going to see you on Halloween night. Yes, happy okay. Halloween day. Winifred the Witch, everybody. Oh. Uh, yeah, just a, uh, there she goes. There she goes. Uh, <laughs> just a, some of the color that takes over this town uh, on this particular week. That's amazing. And Derry isn't your only Halloween destination this year. Tell us about, is it Puka Halloween? Did I say that right? That's it. It's called the Puka Festival. And that when, when this comes to an end on Halloween night, I get I go down to County Meath uh, in Ireland where a second festival begins. It runs all the way through the weekend, November the 3rd. It's called Puka Festival. This is the parade. I was there last year. I'm going to be part of the parade this year. This is a bit more sort of like pagan inspired, um, a very Mardi Gras style. And these very quaint little historic villages really come to life. All the residents line the streets and they celebrate Puka. Now, Puka is a mischievous character in Celtic folklore, uh, and much of the action takes place at Trim Castle. If you saw the movie Braveheart, then Trim Castle will look very familiar to you. We've got a live shot. There it is. A beautiful Trim Castle. It dates back to 1172. And wouldn't you, wouldn't you know it? Oh, there it is. Puka's already descending on the streets of, of Trim. That's, she's the mischievous character on the left here. And again, more color, more embracing of this holiday throughout the island this week for sure. Hey, uh, can, where can people find uh, more about uh, visiting Ireland, especially during the Halloween, uh, Halloween season? Uh, all right, all things Ireland, all things Halloween there at Ireland.com and then check out Travelers.com for all the deals that'll get you out here. All right, happy Halloween. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Same to you. Thanks.